Happy Saturday evening. How is everyone? Okay, so I like hardly ever go on on Saturday nights. And I just think that people are just so busy that they don't really want to hear from me on Saturday nights. But the thing is, me and my son, my 16 year old son, just made the most incredible spicy tuna. Spicy tuna, I was gonna say spicy tuna seaweed, but there's no seaweed. So spicy tuna, like a spicy tuna roll that you would go get at the Japanese place down the road, but we didn't go to the Japanese place down the road. If you saw my stories, actually, we went to a store called H Mark today, which is like a world within a world. If you've never been, you should really, really go, okay? And that's where you go to get like raw sushi grade tuna, salmon, any kind of fish, really. I mean, really, we go there, I go there to buy like squid and stuff for Italian for like, um, you know, for, for Christmas and stuff around for the holidays, for the Italians. But here's the thing. Hi, Carmela, how are you? If you want to make a raw tuna or salmon or sushi inspired dish, this is the place that you would go near me anyways, if you're in Chicago. So, I mean, I'm sure that there's other fish places, so I'm not knocking any fish places. I'm just saying that this is conveniently located to where I live. Plus, I was picking him up from Dan's and we drive right past it, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So it's super conveniently located for me, okay? So here's the thing. We, me and my son, love the spicy tuna roll at the Japanese place down the road, right? It was his birthday the other day and he wanted to go there for his birthday. We all went for his birthday. Spent an arm and a leg, but we ate the most delicious sushi, right? So today, after he was done with his dance class, I'm like, okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna make a keto, no rice, but a keto spicy tuna roll. But it's not gonna be a roll, it's gonna be more like a salad. But I could make it a roll. I'm not good at rolling though. I'm just gonna let you guys know. Disclaimer, I am super bad at rolling, the rolling part of it, but here's the thing. Because you know what? Have you guys ever tried to roll one of these? It's not easy, <laughs> it's not easy. That's all I have to say. This little sucker, it's called Nori, it's not easy to roll. So what I did was I crunched it up, okay, with a knife or with my hand, and I sprinkled it on top. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, but here's, I'm gonna show you what I put in. It's in my stories because I was videotaping everything, but so here's the thing. Well, here's Billy's plate. So let me show you my plate first, actually. So this is my plate. This is the bowl that I mix everything in together, okay? Everything. So what is in here is raw tuna, raw salmon, um, uh, cucumber, um, red onion, and what else did I put in there? Oh, avocado. Cute. I have a, like a disaster going on on my kitchen counter right here. So, I mean, I like literally have a disaster. Here's some avocados. We've got a little bit of red onion. We've got some cucumber leftovers. I'm just looking at what everything is here. So I am going to show you, there's a couple of different ways you could plate this, but the thing is none of it is cooked. So it's so easy, right? You just chop, 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 mix together and it's really, really tasty, right? This is what Billy's plate looks like because he loaded it. He put it all on here, made it look really pretty and then he loaded it with more salmon. So this is what Billy's plate looks like. It is really pretty, right? It's like super yummy and delicious. I gotta say it is. He loves raw salmon. I don't love raw salmon so much. I love raw tuna. So, you know, between the two of us, we've got both fishes covered. Fishes, fish covered. <laughs> That's great English, and Okay, so this is what we used for the sauce. So here's the sauce, right? The spicy tuna, the spicy sauce that goes on the tuna, which makes spicy tuna. So this is mayonnaise. I don't really like mayonnaise, but I mean, it went with the recipe and it, you know, it is what it is and it's keto friendly. So here we are, how to use the mayonnaise. So I use mayonnaise right here, like Hellman's mayonnaise. Here's my mayonnaise. Um, I use sriracha, sriracha sauce, any kind of sriracha sauce. I squeezed, squeezed, squoze, squeezed a whole bunch of lemons, right? So some lemon juice and some Himalayan sea salt, Himalayan sea salt and pepper. I don't know where the pepper went. So here's the thing, this is what you do. You chop your cucumbers, throw it in the bowl. You chop your avocado, slice your avocado, throw it in the bowl. You chop your red onion, throw it in the bowl. <laughs> then you slice your raw tuna, raw salmon, throw it in the bowl. Mix it all together. You mix your sauce in a separate container. Here it is, it looks really yummy. You stir this sucker up, super easy. Then you sprinkle it on top, okay? 
Then you mix everything together, and this is what you come up with when you mix everything together, right? So at this point, you can put it on a plate, like Billy did. You can put it on a plate, and then what we did was, I took this little sucker right here, and I literally crunched it up with my hands. I chop, 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 but I crunched it, crunched it, and then I sprinkled it on top. Then he sprinkled more salmon on top, and then we sprinkled, we've got a mixture of sesame seeds here, and right here we have just like regular white sesame seeds. I don't know what the difference is, but there's black sesame seeds, there's white sesame seeds. Here's the mixture. So we sprinkled it. I'll show you what it looks like when you sprinkle it. There's a lot, it goes on top, right? I mean, a little bit more is not gonna kill him, right? He loves it. So this is what Billy's looks like. Super pretty, right? So mine, you could, I'm not gonna roll it because I am no roller, <laughs> I'm no roller. But you could start off with the nori. You could put it here and then you could roll it and you could be really fancy about it. I'm not fancy on any level. So I'm just gonna show you really quickly how easy this is when you just scoop it out of the bowl, put it on top, make it look really pretty, okay? Take your, take your sesame seeds, sprinkle, 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 and then voila, there we go. Dinner is served or lunch or whatever you wanna call it. Your meal is served. Super delicious, extremely nutritious, high in omega-3s. It's absolutely 1,000% keto. You could roll this up at this point and you can do whatever you want with it because it is your meal, right? It is super tasty and that's the most important thing. It's super tasty, all healthy ingredients. I'm telling you, this is something that, and you can't like make this and like keep it for a week. No, it's not gonna work like that. You have to make it and you have to serve it immediately but it's super keto friendly. All the nutrition facts and the recipe are posted above. I'm not gonna chat your ear off on a Saturday evening, but I hope everybody has the most wonderful Saturday evening and the rest of your Valentine weekend. I hope everybody has the most wonderful weekend ever. Talk to you later, happy Valentine's Day. Bye.